Welcome to our short overview of how to control objects and handle alarms in our user-friendly REX 640 Protection and Control Relay. In this example, the single line diagram of the local HMI shows that there are several controllable objects. They are marked by a gray background square. Let's start by controlling a normal circuit breaker. You start the procedure by tapping the desired circuit breaker symbol on the single line diagram. Then simply select to close it, confirm it, and that's all. As you can see from the single line diagram, the position of the selected breaker has now changed. To open the same breaker, you first select it by tapping the symbol on the single line diagram. Then you select the open command, confirm it, and that's it. This single line diagram also includes other controllable objects like the Peterson coil and onload tap changer. To get to know more about those applications, please watch our application videos of the REC 640 how-to video series. When entering the substation, you may notice one of the local HMIs indicating an alarm by the red flashing color around the home button. Once you tap the home button, the local HMI of the relay will automatically enter the alarm page. On the alarm page, there are two categories of alarms, the persisting alarms and the fleeting alarms. Let's start with the fleeting alarms and acknowledge those. Fleeting alarms mean that they have been active sometime in the past, but they are not active anymore. First, select all and then acknowledge. Fleeting alarms disappear from the screen. Let's now jump over to the persisting alarms. Same procedure, select all, acknowledge, like that. In this case, the actual alarms will not disappear from the page since they are still active. But as you have now acknowledged those alarms, you can also notice that the behavior of the home button has changed. Now the home button is indicating a steady red light. This steady mode means that all the alarms in the relay have been acknowledged, but there are still some active alarms, as you can see from the page. Once the persisting alarms are no longer active, they will disappear from the alarm page without further action. At the same time, the home button will return to the normal state, showing a steady green light. The second option to handle alarms is through the mini alarm window shown here at the top right corner on the home page of the local HMI. By tapping the mini alarm window, you will enter the alarm page. After that, the alarm handling procedure continues as described previously. To get to know more, go to our web pages or watch our videos on our YouTube channel.